What's going on YouTube? This is Sean. I am back again and in this video we're gonna be working on Thor's new vest from Infinity War and uh, I think it looks really cool all black, but uh, I'm probably gonna paint it another color But uh, let's just jump right into this tutorial I'm gonna start off by sketching out Thor's design with this high-tech ruler that uh, you can get from Harbor Freight or Walmart but if you buy one you get like six more rulers for free it also comes with eva foam floor mats too so uh yeah i think that's a really good deal i've already got it all cut out now this pattern is going to have patterns within patterns so i'm going to work my way in by uh cutting out the outermost pattern which is going to be on this material which is like a polyster uh outdoor fabric i guess and then, once I'm done cutting that out, I'm going to go and cut my inner patterns out one piece at a time, starting with the larger pieces and then working my way into the smaller pieces. Now, this is a very tedious task, but you're going to have to do it. I mean, this is just part of the job. I mean, you could take the easy way out and cut all this in one big piece of foam and then burn all your lines in there I kind of wanted it to be a little more flexible that's why I decided to use this material right now I am hemming up the edges I gave myself about a half inch seam allowance and then while I was in there sewing I went ahead and sewed on these velcro and velcro elastic which is eventually going to attach to the undergarment now that I have all that sewn and whatever it's time to take the patterns and then trace them onto some EVA foam. I'm using four millimeter EVA foam for the outer pieces. And then I'm going to cut those inner patterns out and then transfer those over to the foam, which I'm eventually going to take the easy way out and use a wood burner to etch in the lines. This piece right here is the center piece. That's gonna go right in the center but you'll see later on in the video where I'm gonna apply all these I'm gonna fold my paper pattern in half and then I'm going to draw in some detail lines then I'm gonna flip it over and then do it the other side which is going to look like that and that's eventually gonna get burnt too moving along to the lower portion of the vest this is kind of like a belt or a harness I think but it doesn't like really hang low enough to be a belt but it could be I mean I eventually put on some velcro on the back end of it and made it adjustable and right here I am cutting out some inner patterns which I'm tracing out on some uh, three millimeter craft foam and I cut out more inner patterns which I'm going to transfer the designs over now there's gonna be a lot of um, inner patterns that's gonna be burnt in here but that's just makes it look cooler now let's do an inventory of all the pieces making sure that I got everything cut out that nothing gets left behind and yeah you should have everything pieced together and it should look something like this I went and cut the circles out in my laser cutter that's why it looks so perfect now that all my pieces are ready to get burnt and etch I got my wood burner all nice and hot so that way I can go ahead and etch in all the details at once because it just makes more sense and I went ahead and did the center piece just like that and then I flipped it over and burnt the center line in the back and while the foam was still hot I was able to fold it together the melted foam was able to fuse itself together now it's time to go in there and apply some contact cement to both surfaces so I could glue them together and the reason why I can use contact cement for this is because this foam that I got from TNT Cosplay Supply is smooth on both sides. It doesn't have the texture. That way I can just glue it straight down with contact cement. Normally I would just use hot glue, but uh, this works just as fine, if not quicker. I'm going to carefully lay all my pieces down one at a time, making sure that all my pieces align to the marked lines that I did earlier before. And then I went and took all my laser cut circles and glued that down and more additional accents to the belt waisted area. 
uh, I guess. But I eventually pulled this piece off and made it a belt. But you can glue it on directly like this if you want. I mean, that's entirely up to you. I'm just giving you options. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Now it's time to glue the chest piece together and it's gonna go something like this. I've already applied the glue, let it sit for a little bit. I even applied the glue on the, I guess, V-neck. It's not a V-neck, it's like a, uh, judge, it's, it's, I don't know what it's called. You make up a name for me this time. We'll call it the center collar thingy. Seems legit, right? Now that I got it all pieced together, it's time to merge the two pieces together and let's stick this center collar thingy. I don't even remember the name I made up for it. I just said it a while ago. <laughs> so far so groovy and now it's time to apply some contact cement for the accents that's going to go on to the chest area. And I'm taking my wood burner and burning some more additional details. This makes it look less plainer I guess and then when I apply contact cement to both the fabric area and the lower inner chest piece and I waited it for it to dry I waited it I waited for it to dry and then I am carefully attaching it together making sure the lines line up and they don't have no extra slack because that would be really uncool but uh, yeah you should have something that looks like this which is looking pretty sick. Now I'm gonna put some contact cement to the, uh, I guess, other accents. This is like the chest pieces. Chest piece accent, let's just give it that name. And again, I'm going to cut out the inner patterns and then trace it with the uh, pen so I can go back and burn it in with the wood burner. Now you can actually use a razor blade to score the surface, apply some heat, and it'll open up. But uh, with a wood burner, it kind of burns it a little bit thicker. You can see a little bit better. I'm going to apply some heat and put it on this PVC cap thingy that I use to heat and bend my objects or my foam. And now that it's all nice and curved, it's time to glue it on to the chest piece, which is starting to look out of this world get it door out, out of this world okay let's move along I'm gonna apply some heat to all of this foam and then try to get some formation uh, making sure that it wraps around the body nice and snugly snugly is that even a word now it's time to glue the back pieces together which is something like this you know most of my back pieces look like this but I actually went and did some alterations to this pattern so that way it can mesh up really nicely with the front piece as you can tell right there now it's time to join the back to the front just like that I'm using the surface of my table to make sure everything is nice and neatly and then I'm gonna trim off the excess material that didn't line up and this part right here is the um, uh, let's call this the collar neck guard yeah let's call it the neck guard collar seems legit right I cut the lower line of the collar in a outward angle that way when I marry these two pieces together uh, the the collar would go straight up instead of like um, you know east or west I don't even know which is which but when you have it all glued together, it should look something like this. Now, before you go and glue the collar piece down, you want to make sure that the vest fits nice and snugly. If not, then you have to make the uh, adjustment right there where the trap area is before you glue this piece down. Because once you glue this piece down, it's a done deal. There's no turning back. I mean, you could just start all over. Now, I'm going to glue the front part of the collar down and... As for the back, I'm going to apply some Velcro back there. That way I can slip on a cape and I can have the non-cape Thor version or the cape Thor version. Whichever, I mean, you can do whatever you want, whatever floats your, your boat. But for this video, we're just going to do the non-cape version of Thor. That's just because I don't feel like making the cape in this video. 
Now, earlier I glued this piece down, but I did rip it out so I can put this belt on here. And uh, I got this belt from the Goodwill store, but you can raid your wife's or your mom's closet. She may not like it, but um, you can always tell them that Sean told you to do it. Not Sean X, but, um, you know, Sean from um, the other cosplay YouTube channel. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Now I'm going to apply some Velcro to the lower section of the vest. That way I can apply Velcro onto the belt harness thingy. And this will allow me to adjust it up and down where, however I feel like it. Or however you feel like it. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Now I've got it on my, um, my homemade PVC paint rack out in my shop. And I'm going to lay down a few coat of Plasti Dip. It's going to go down glossy, but once it dries up, it's going to dry up to this really nice matte black that I really dig. I do plan on painting it a gunmetal color, but I'm going to save that for another video. And you're probably wondering why I'm going to paint it gunmetal when it's black in the movie. Well, it's just cosplay pro, and I'm going to do it the way I want to. Anyways, I plan on making a helmet that's going to be gunmetal, and I think it's going to look really cool. Alright, so now the Plasti Dip is all dry. Notice I put the Velcro on the back half of the uh, vest. So that way, the strap that I put on the abdominal section will attach to that. And notice that I also taped the uh, outer edge of the arm piece. Which I'm going to stuff this foam right here. Because he's got this padded area on the vest. And why not, right? I think it looks really cool. I cut some strip of black four-way stretch fabric and I'm applying some contact cement to that on one side or one edge I am doing a really thin strip which is going to glue to this part right here then I later realized it's going to be impossible to put the uh, contact cement on the mannequin or on the vest while still on the mannequin so took that off and then I'm going to apply some contact cement on the inside of the black strip which you'll see here in a little bit how it's all gonna go down I'm gonna first apply the fabric to the outer edge of the arm piece area and then once I get that all in there then I'm gonna carefully put the foam in there and notice that I am folding the foam over the EVA foam and it should look something like this it's slowly coming together and I hope you get the picture of what I'm doing here. And now that I got the padded area on one side, it's time to repeat the process over again on the other side. And it should look something like this. And notice how the edges are looking kind of funky. So I'm just going to stretch that over and put some hot glue. And then clamp that down and let it cool. And then it should look something like this. And now there's probably a better method of hiding the uh, the edges, but I just basically tucked it in and it looks good enough for me. I mean, this is what it's looking like so far. I was going to do the arm and the leg, but I think I'm going to save that for another video because I do plan on making some pants and some under armor shirt. Now, if you're into this kind of stuff, I mean, if you're really into this, then uh, links to the uh, templates will be in the description down below. Make sure you swing by and snacky some because that will support this channel. And you might want to swing by my Amazon shop for materials and supplies because that also helps me out. Hit that like button if you feel like you got something out of this video and share to those who might care. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you ain't already subscribed. And uh, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.